I bought this commemorative Seacons gift set in 2010, but I wasn't the responsible martyr that I am today, so some of the pieces went missing and even broken by the consequences of being hashy-bashy. So I got a brand new one about a year ago. I've been working up the courage to open it. There's a lot of talk about mould degradation and how this is quite a fragile set in some places, but let's tackle it. First of all, have a look at this packaging. I think there's more plastic in this than in the Seacons themselves. It's a bit of a throwback to when no one really gave a shit about plastic packing. As nice as it is, you know, through a modern lens, I feel guilty even looking at it. But we can see the Seacons, they come in their combined form of Piranicon. And immediately, it's impressive, but the, the grumpy old bastard in me prefers the individual presentation of the original gift set. Even though I've owned these toys before, building up the combiner as you went through each toy is a small joy I've been robbed of. Nobody has it tougher than me. Okay, okay, let's get them opened up, and by God, they've clamped down so many plastic ties, like a really bad smell in Gulliver. You know, snip all those off, and we have Piranicon, definitely a standout amongst other G1 combiners. Not that they're of a higher quality, they're just fucking weird. I love them, though. They all speak to that 1987-88 bright neon approach that I can't get enough of. You know, all magentas and candy pinks and powder blues. Oh, I forgot, inside you also get the usual instructions, a huge bag of accessories, and crucially, some collectible trading cards. Yep, very, very nice. I'll just add those to the collection now. There's a few colour differences between this set and the original G1 toys, but only one that really bothers me, and we'll get to that in a minute. The set builds Piranicon with the legs elongated, but, you know, I'll let you in on a wee secret. I don't like that at all. I want my combiners squat and dumpy. There are six Seacons in total, with Leader Snaptrap taking the centre stage and the rest becoming limbs. There's no real definitive setup, but I like how they've done it here. Also, the more mathematically minded amongst you might notice that leaves one extra Seacon. Mm, smart arse, eh? So that leftover Seacon becomes a handheld weapon for Piranicon, making them not only a combiner, but in effect a target master, making them the coolest toy of all time for some reason. Each toy comes with a few accessories of their own, but also a base plate so you can display them in their target master modes, which is a little bit unnecessary, but if we're just wasting plastic, we might as well go all in. Right, let's check each ingredient of this seafood soup and take a look at the boys. Not a later is a little creep. Look at them. You know, there's more extra bits on them than his actual body. Yeah, I love their sticker detail though, and a black helmet, yellow face combo always works for me. Articulation's kind of limited to the arms, so they can hold this frankly massive triple crusher cannon, and that's about it. But transform them into the robotic lobster mode, and yeah, that's suitably unnerving. You can plop the gun underneath their chin, if you're into that too. And in Target Master Heat Seeking Torpedo mode, atop his stand, he looks... shite. Overbite here's got a bit more of a coherent robot mode, and I tell you what, they're not exactly going to fall over anytime soon with those huge arms on the feet as stabilizers. Same articulation as before though, essentially the arms that can aim his incredibly named Jawbreaker Cannon. Turning into a horrific shark mode with arms and legs, Overbite doesn't go completely into goofy territory but is extremely close to it. You can also bang the gun under his chin for a laugh. The Target Master Dual Proton Blaster mode's a little better and less obvious than Nautilator, but it's not saying much, is it? Sea Wing looks, and I'm sure you'll agree, very cool with those wings on his back. Their Venom lasers can be dual wielded or combined into one gun if you can't be bothered aiming one of the guns slightly to one side. They suffer a little bit from that huge overhanging tail on the back, but it all pays off in the transformation into Manta Ray mode. Again, a Manta Ray mode with legs. Look at their wee face and this giant nostril. You can slap the lasers under the wings and you're good to go. I actually quite like the Target Master mode here, definitely my favourite so far, and it'll become a real tragedy later. Uh, that's a bit of foreshadowing, as we say in the entertainment business. Scalor suffered the most in losses and breakages in my last set, so hopefully this boy can keep it together for five minutes. The design isn't a million miles away from Overbite in robot mode, with their dual crustacean rifles being the big differentiator. In their coelacanth form, with arms and legs of course, they've got one of the most distinct alt modes. I love their scaly detail and that horrid little face of his. You can plug the rifles into their back too, and I adore their little try-hard scary stance. In the Target Master <clears throat> uh, Slime Shooter Rifle mode, they're not bad. You know, I've seen worse in this set, not one minute ago. Tentakill is probably the most streamlined of the smaller robot modes, with a great mix of candy pink and magenta, and those stubby little feet with cool sticker detail and they come with dual slime laser rifles, and I think they might be my favourite of the team's robot modes. Tentakill is usually everyone's favourite, it's easy to see why folks love this little creep in their squid with legs mode. The scowl they've got, they're like they've just licked pish off a thistle. The stubby little arms, the fact that you can put the lasers on his forehead like weird big cat ears. What's not to like? 
Much like the robot mode, the Target Master 50,000 volts lightning rifle is very streamlined and it does a good job of looking like it's not just tentacle lying down, which it mostly is. And Snaptrap is the leader that comes with everything you need to complete the Piranicon experience. Your feet, your fists, the sword, the helmet, the chest plate. But they're more than just the accessories they come with. I've got a lot of fondness for Snaptrap as I had the original as a kid, creating a lifelong passion for giant turtles and robots who turn into them. But the big issue I have with the colour changes for this set is that they've gone with a green head instead of the black of the original and it doesn't look anywhere near as good. But it's what we have folks, so dial it back a notch. They're still a ton of fun, with a little bit more articulation than their smaller pals, and they feel more like an action figure than some of the early combiner leaders. I love the little switch on their back that makes the cannons go into party mode. In this mode, we can also take the Atom Smasher rifle and the incendiary sword, while placing a shell shield on the arm for some much needed protection. That tortoise mode, this time with, you know, earned arms and legs, is fantastic. The wee jaw, the little teeth, the shell combined with the shield, it's a great toy. You know, of course, the cannons can still fire away, this time at someone and not just straight up into the sky. No target master mode, but you can plonk the rifle on the top if that's what you want. That's something, isn't it? Together, they're a fun little crew, aren't they? The colours work so well together, they're almost as much fun to display individually than in their combined mode. Well, almost, you know, let's get them all back together. The tragedy here is that Sea Wing is probably my favourite target master mode, but I can't have them in any other place than on the arm. The wing on the shoulder just looks... Too cool. So we're going to let Nautilator take their predestined place as the target master weapon. They were literally made for this. The Seacons, Piranicon, they're just a great set of toys. Maybe not my favourite combiner ever, but one that stands out for sure. You know, what? what's your favourite Seacon? Why not drop us a line as long as you keep your comments on a small scale? That would be fantastic. Remember to tune in next time for some more videos oh, and where we'll take no. you to Trouter Space. No, stop, you know, be stop. sure to subscribe to the episodes so stop we can this. efficiently get them That's to you. Funny. Just squidding. Me. You don't have no. to do that. But if you do, let me know. <sighs>